Hi hey Scorpio, with a weekly reading for the sign of Scorpio, and it could resonate with anyone who has Scorpio strongly in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right, let's go ahead and dig right in here, Scorpio, and see what we have for you. Scorpio, <laughs> uh, this week is going to be a doozy of a week. Just just uh, what we see here in the energies is quite remarkable and full of action, Scorpio. Um, you're, you're moving into this week in the Queen of Wands, embodying the Queen of Wands energy. So you're out there and you're um, proud to be where you're at, Scorpio. You're in this place of a very strong aliveness with the Queen of Wands energy. There's something here that you really believe in, that you're really passionate about. And it, it lights you up in a way that you're able to radiate it out um, beyond you, I, I would say, because the Queen of Wands is connected in to the Queen of Swords, connected in to the Knight of Wands. There's something here, Scorpio, that has you so excited. It has you in a place of action and communication where before you might not have been able to do that. There, do this. There's something that really has inspired you this week, uh, coming in to the week. And I think, Scorpio, that you've already, you, you could have actually have already been inspired in the previous week like you are in this power position and you're in a power position as you move into the week so something must be happening i'm not sure what's happening scorpio but it's really you're, you're really in a strong place you're radiating radiating out this beauty and this charm and charisma and really anything that's on your heart center right now or really coming out of a passion place from within you is going to be able to be expressed in a in a really beautiful way um you you have the eight of wands here with the page of wands so uh i just feel like scorpio there's something here that has been troubling you or there's something here that has been stopping you or something here that has been really a burden and whatever has happened scorpio i feel like that weight or that deep concern or there's just something here that has lifted and you're able to kind of move through into a new space and boy oh boy do you, are you in action whether it is moving back and forth or here and there or whether it is oh, lots of conversations that you're having or excited conversations that you're having maybe just one but it's something that is really exciting and it spurs you forward into doing something uh, because you're moving into the six of wands, Scorpio, I am like my brain can hardly. Uh, Scorpio, I know this is just a weekly reading and I know that there are other things happening around you so that when I get into this narrative, it just seems so dramatic and it's so pure as it comes to me. Now, there's other things that happen in life, other distractions and 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 I know that life is busy, but there is going to be something in this next week that really is going to uh uh, spur you forward and it's spurring you forward in the most beautiful way um, whether it's a project you have or whether it is a um, something you're doing at work or something that you're doing around the home something that you're doing with for yourself or with yourself it's done in such um, a, an excited energy filled moment i have to say and these kinds of times scorpio they, they're just not always here and i feel like this is something that is just special for you it's going to light you up it's going to light you on fire um, and i believe it has to do with something that you have been working on something that you've been working to to help um some, something that you've been working to to protect you, we have you connected in with the Queen of Swords. Now, there could be a Queen of Swords here. There could be two or three people here. I feel like this is a very strong feminine energy. So you could have feminine um, focused people or, or people that are m more connected to the yin here, Scorpio. But this could just be your own situation and you are on the... I, on the fly, on the run. There's all these phrases coming up at me, Scorpio. Um, you're busy talking. You're able to speak it. You're able to radiate it out. And it's something that has you moving forward. Um, it's connected into the Queen of Swords. So I really do believe there's something here that you're saying or doing that's in a defense or protection of something. But it's being done in such a passionate way. I don't really think that there's anything here that you're doing this derogatory demeaning to anyone i just think that there's something now you can finally do to help someone um and or or help yourself in some way there's a protective sense around this scorpio a protective kind of intention here 
And by the end of the week, you're moving forward with something. And it could be something very small. Some Maybe there's been a person around you, Scorpio, that you've wanted to help or that you've wanted to reach out to. And as you move into the week, you are in the death rebirth space. So um, something has happened here that has really opened up the gates of movement. I was going to say something else, but it's like there's it is a change, Scorpio. I feel like my brain is like stopped in one place and it's moving forward in another like something stopped and now something else is moving forward because part of me is able to comprehend this and the other part of me is kind of shut off so i do think it's a surprise and i think that maybe you've given up on this or maybe you've given up on this person or maybe there's just been something that you had to surrender and i don't think you were expect something's going to, it's going to be a surprise scorpio it's a surprise for me it's like my mind is not really comprehending and it's really uh, hard on the right. So it's going to, it's going to impact the yang. And I do feel like you haven't been able to do this before, Scorpio. You haven't been able to be this way about this before. It's like, finally, you can say what you need to say, or finally you can do what you need to do. And Scorpio, when it happens, I don't even think you're going to think about it. That's a night of Knight of Wands, you're just moving forward, man. You are just moving forward. You're not thinking anymore about it. That's why you have the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. You have some strong movement here. Is there someone else in the picture? Could absolutely be someone here. Could absolutely be someone here. And there probably is in one way or another. Okay, now the energy is clearing. Okay, this is going to happen. I believe it's going to be a surprise. It's going to be about something, Scorpio, that you've let go of or you've you, you've just given up on, or maybe this is a friend you haven't heard from in a long time, and maybe you feel disconnected from this person. Scorpio, I, it's something that you have released already. It's something that you have released, and all of a sudden, there's something that comes in, and you're at the be most beautiful space to handle this. It's like all your planets have aligned in such a perfect way, and your spiritual guide is there, and there's a button that he pushes, and it's the go button, and somebody pushes that go button for you, and wow, are you alive, and that's what's going to happen. It's going to be hard for me to tell you exactly what this is about, but... And um, we do see a protective sense about this. We do see power in words. And we see you just moving forward in something um, without now a whole lot of thinking. You are just in action. Uh, six of Wands. Six of Wands energy. You are up and out. And in this moment, Scorpio, you don't care who sees you. You are there. You are alive. And you're doing what you've been compelled to do. I would say it's a compulsion, but it's one that comes out of a place of strength, one that comes out of a place of happiness, one that comes out of a place of empowerment, right? And it's moving forward. And remember, the Six of Wands is something that really inspires other people. Look at the Six of Wands moving into the Knight of Wands. I mean, it's really beautiful. And I do feel it brings you some sort of a cathar cathartic release, um, if, if that's, I, I do believe that that's, that's the case here. Now, as you're moving out of the week, I do feel like you, you have this sense of, did I do the right thing? I need to watch now and make sure that it's okay. Like, I do feel like you have this watching, like this thing happens, you take action and then you sit back and you're like, huh, boy, I hope I did the right thing. I hope I said the right thing. What's going to happen now? What's going to, what's happening? Um, it's, it, that's the feeling that you come out, you come out of it with that feeling. Um, that's how it usually feels when you move energy, when you do something that's out of the norm, when you, you know, when you burst through some sort of, uh, energy field or some sort of blockage, it does feel like that sometimes, but you have this four swords here. So I think, um, ultimately Scorpio, you do feel good about what you did. I do feel like there's something here that, um, allows you to kind of go into a relief position. I think that feels really good, Scorpio. And you have now some time to kind of rest from this, get your bearings again, find understanding about it. I think this is probably something here, Scorpio, that was ultimately uncomfortable. Um, there was a situation here that was ultimately uncomfortable, but you stepped through it and rose to the occasion. And I do feel like at the end of the week, while you might be feeling a little bit vulnerable and a little bit worried about the situation, I do think that you're moving into a rest position, which is the ultimate victory here, uh, Scorpio, the ultimate victory here in this case, I feel. Um, I am going to go into a couple of these cards here before I move to the extended. 
Um, huh, we have an eight of wands. I, I just, and I feel like this is such a, let me go into the clarifier here. I'm going to go into the queen of swords. I just feel like there's something here that you're, that you're working on and worried about and, and maybe have been thinking about for a while. I think it's been kind of hard. I think it's been real hard what this is. Because when it happens, it's like you just move into action. There's no thinking. There's no deliberating. Um, there, you, It's just like, boom, you're up and you're doing it kind of thing. And it feels good. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Something you've had your eye on for a while. Yeah, this could even be a purchase. Oh, my gosh. This could even be a purchase of something. Okay. It could be something like that. It could be a purchase. I'm going to pull my sticker cards at the end. I know they're not for everyone. They're somewhat childish. I'm not an artist, but I do like images. So I'll pull some of those um, at the end here. Page of swords, something that you've had. Now we have two pages of swords, something you've been uneasy about, something you've had your eye on, something that you're not sure about doing, Scorpio. You don't want to be out of control. There's something that's maybe a little bit you know, the emperor is in reverse here. You, I mean, this could be a father figure that's needing some help. Um, this could be a boss that's really troubled and, and um, needing help. It could be a spouse that really is um, in a place of uneasiness or, or some sort of something's out of control. There could be something like that. There's obviously you have some concerns about something here. Um, I think of all of those, Scorpio, you have tried to be in control yourself. Like you've tried to um, stay stay in a position of, of minding your P's and Q's. Is that the phrase? I think it is. Um, you know what, Scorpio? I swear in the last week I have been purging all of these weird sayings. They've been coming out of my mouth without me. Uh, without me even thinking of them, they come out of my mouth and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's another one. They're terrible. A lot of them are very terrible the way they're like, I don't know. I don't even want to say them. But anyway, there's another phrase. Are you guys doing that too? Is anybody else purging out old English sayings that are actually quite violent when you think of them? I have been doing that like two birds with one stone or um, there's tons of them. They're terrible. <laughs> They're terrible, and, and I hate when they come out. Okay, okay, now we got the energy back. All right, let's keep working here. <laughs> Get distracted. There could be, this could be something that's quite, you know, it is interesting that I went into this weird story about sayings with the emperor in reverse. It's like, maybe there is something here that's been quite distracting. Um, chariot energy. There's something here that you're doing that you feel slightly out of control when you're doing it. And I think that you've been thinking about whatever this is and saying, okay, well, if I'm going to move forward with that, I really need to be careful. Um, I really need to be careful about what I do and say or how much I spend. And I'm afraid I'm going, I'm out of control. I'm afraid like this is going to be too big or too much, or I'm going to make a commitment that's going to be too hard. But this is something that's moving forward because we have the chariot here. Um, and the other hand, Scorpio, I think that you realize like this is something that needs to be done. It's something that's here. It's something that's time now. It's time now to take action. I think you have thought about it quite a bit, Scorpio. I think you have watched it quite a bit. You have studied it. Remember your work that you've done and the way that you've watched this and studied this. Um, I, there is going to be a time when the, your go button is going to be pushed and um, you're going to be in action here. Let's look at the six of swords, six of swords, six of wands. It's six of wands energy that you're embodying the second half of the week. I don't know if this could be something like, now we have another page of wands. Okay. I think I've reached the end. of. The, I think I've dug as deep as, as, as I'm going to get here. Here's a page of wands. This is something that spurs you into action. Scorpio, it's something that other people are going to see. Um, whenever you do something that other people are going to see, then there is going to be feedback and, people watching you and people looking at what it is that you're doing, but you're in the Knight of Wands. So I really don't think you care too much. This is something that you're doing because you think it's best. It's the safest thing. It's the best thing. It's the most protective thing to do. And I think when it comes time to do it, you're going to do it with gusto and you're not going to really care about what other people think. 
um, maybe afterwards, <laughs> maybe afterwards, but then you go into a resting position. So ultimately, I don't think you really care. It's just like a feeling that comes over. It's just the page of swords. It's an uneasiness. And I have been recognizing this feeling in my life. And I sometimes even say to myself, oh, it's just a damn page of swords. You know, it's, it's that kind of a, it's, it's just an annoyance. And once you start to recognize the page of swords then you just realize it's your brain, it's your subconscious, you know, trying to deal, trying to deal with, with, with what you're doing. Um, okay, Scorpio, I'm good with this reading. I can, I can kind of feel like I've gotten everything I'm going to get out of it. Um, congratulations on whatever you're doing, Scorpio. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be quite fun. Um, there is a, there is a deeper meaning to this, but when you're in action, I think it's going to be quite fun and, um, whatever you're doing, I wish you great success. <laughs> it's exciting. And, um, yeah, I hope you have fun with the Scorpios. The, the energy is definitely here. It's definitely here and available to you, Scorpio. So, um, wishing you the best. Um, and I will see you next week with another weekly reading for Scorpio. And for the rest of you that want to move over to the extended, I will see you there over on the other side. All right. Thank you.